Hi everybody, I'm back. Hello all my jewelry lovers. Um, you all really are the best community on YouTube. When I say that, I really mean it. You are the greatest viewers ever. You're so generous, so sweet, and I love your comments. Please keep leaving me comments. They are very, very helpful. Um, there's a lot of research and stuff that goes into all this stuff, particularly stuff that you list. You want to be able to tell your buyer everything you can about it. And you guys are just so helpful with that. And um, I want to thank all of my subscribers. I am getting very close to the 200 mark. Um, I'm going to finish this job, or this job, this bag from uh, Anita Faneda. Um, I had to stop and do the second part because it was getting too long and I want to try and shorten them a little bit. You know, sometimes I get a little bit winded, overwinded, and they end up a little too long, but I had to stop and thank her. I had to email her and tell her how amazing this bag is that she sent me. And like I said, if you have not purchased from her, purchase with confidence because she knows quality and she will only send you quality she will never send you junk so feel confident when you order from her that you're going to get every penny's worth um anyways i will let's see start with i can't remember what i left off with but i still have this much in this bag so i'm telling you how generous she really is um next is a pair of trafari earrings and as you can see, these are brand new, still on the tag. Um, they look look like they originally sold for $18.50. So these are enamel. They're clip-on, gold tone clip-ons. And these are very well made. I know sometimes there's periods where Trafari, you know, their quality isn't always 100%, but most of the time it's really good quality. So um, those are very nice. And these, she could have easily listed these by themselves and done well on these. So, you know, she will include stuff like this in, in her lot. So, feel confident, like I said. And this is the only thing, this box got a little squished in shipping. And so far, this is the only thing that I have seen that was, um, you know, affected at all. Is this one stone popped out of this earring. But these are really pretty. Um, they're a teal color and this can easily go back in there and it has the um, foil back rhinestones which gives them a little more sparkle uh, they look to be these do look sort of vintage too I'm trying to get one off there but these look vintage yeah they um, they don't have a designer on there but they are well made and I do kind of like the way they put the stones in there that, you know, there's the edge is um, sort of sticking off like that. I'm trying to describe it, but I like the way those are set. So that will be easy to fix. Uh, so far, like I said, there hasn't been one single item in this bag that I did not love. This is cute. This has a vintage hook. This definitely looks vintage. And that does look to be turquoise. I believe that's real turquoise. And it's a two-sided pendant. Um, it does, yeah, you can tell this has some age to it. This is really nice. It's not sticking to the magnet, so it appears to be maybe brass. I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like... Um, yeah, those, those are definitely, um, they're pieces of turquoise that have been put in a resin with little gold flakes, but it's really, this is pretty. This is, would be really nice for somebody who doesn't like big statement type necklaces. This is cute, and I love this color, so this is also a good color for me, anything in the green to blue and teal range always is good um, with my complexion and my hair so those kind of things I will wear and another pair of 
very pretty rhinestone necklace, I mean earrings. These are cool. These are pierced. These also look very well made too. Yeah, these are not the cheap ones like you buy at Claire's, which I've heard Claire's is going out of business, so um, you might want to start holding on to that Claire's stuff now. The stuff that's marked Claire's. But those are really cute. Or should I say elegant? These would look very, very nice on with the direction that it kind of curves. Would look really cute. I think it looks cuter curving away from the ear, but they're very elegant. They would almost look like they climb up your ear. So those would be really pretty on a with a really pretty formal dress. Dump this out so we can get through this a little faster. These are really cute too. These are enamel on gold tone, and these are clip-ons. Well, actually, I think yeah, they're those. Um, they're the. I'm glad she sent these cards with me with them too. So, I mean, she didn't have to do that, but wow. But they're the um, combination clip-on screwbacks, and these do have a name on them. These are Napier, and I've seen these before, and I can't remember if it's Napier that I've seen them on, but these are really nice, too. Very well made, and they, they look brand new. They don't have any kind of metal wear, and she gets some really good jars uh, when I go to, I go to California every summer, so when I go this summer, I'm definitely going to be looking for some jars while I'm there. And my husband, I think I mentioned in my other one, is in New Orleans this week for work. And um, he is going to try and find a jar for me while he's in, in New York. So I'm excited about that. These are really cute, too. These are the cat's eye beads, or not cat's eye, but the moon glow beads. And I just posted a couple of um, necklaces, like bib style necklaces I have from... They're like rockabilly style with the the thermoset moon glow stones. Uh, these would be perfect. These will go perfect with one of those necklaces. So I probably will give these. One of them that I have listed has stones in it this color. Um, they're actually lucite. Uh, I will um, give these as a free gift with that necklace. I've sold a couple of those. I had quite a few of those 50s rockabilly type necklaces that um, came from um, an aunt so and I used to wear them but I just have so much jewelry I can't possibly wear it all I think I already showed you the other one of these um, 50 style enamel earrings and a bangle and I have a couple of these pearl bangles so I think I'll put them together um, to stack and this is a, a nice one though it's it's well made it's not one of those cheapy ones. It is well made. Or I hate using the word cheapy, should I say inexpensive ones. And these are cool. These are totally cool. Um, these are have that um, open back sort of. And they do look like they're marked. They're pierced. They have some kind of marking on them. It's not it looks like an AS. I've seen that mark before, but I cannot remember off the top of my head who that is. But it has an AS. If anybody recognizes that, and I hate to do this to you because I know you hate that, and please don't thumbs down me because of it, but I don't know how else until I get a better setup here to show you. But if anybody recognizes that mark, please leave a comment. But I think it's an A and an S. You know, with an maybe an A and an S going through the bottom part of it. I don't know if you can see that, but if you recognize that, let me know. And these appear to be acrylic. They're very well made, and I like um, I like the way they're made. And they're they're hollow, which is good because if these were solid metal, they're they would be so heavy you couldn't wear. They've got good weight to them anyway. But if those were solid, they'd be so heavy you couldn't wear them. And here is a bracelet 
It has lobster claw, and this looks like silver. Let me see here. Totally looks like silver. Oh, yep, there's a mark. It says 925, and it has a little silver hallmark, which those stamps are sometimes hard to read, but this is really cute. I like this. I think I'll wear this one. I have a cross that was my sister's whom I lost that this will go very nice with. It has, it's silver and it has all the same color stones in it. So this one I will probably keep and wear with that. I try to wear my sister's jewelry as often as I can because she did, she did um, give, leave me some pretty nice stuff. So I will wear those. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love these. I love these style of earrings. These are beautiful. They're kind of a cognac, almost coffee colored rhinestone. And they have that setting that is, kind of reminds me of Juliana. Um, these could be, actually they look like they might possibly be, because she does have a lot of stuff that's unmarked, but they look like they co could possibly be from Juliana. Yeah, I don't see any mark, but like I said, there is a lot of her stuff out there that people overlook because it is not, wait a minute, there's something there, because it's not marked. Um, there is a mark on it, but... I can't I can't really read it I'll have to I'll have to look at that better later I don't want to um, make y'all wait while I try to figure it out but those are beautiful and um, if anybody else recognizes that construction um, you know let me know because it does look like some of the way she did things and here is another one of those style and I just love these I love the way these um, these are made and I do actually wear these clip-ons um, this one is not marked but it is beautiful it has a what looks like a um, faux pearl type stone in the middle and then set with rhinestones around there were borealis and can't remember um, Aurora Borealis I think they started making those and correct me if I'm wrong I think in the 50s somewhere around the mid late 50s so that will help you date um some of your things that are aurora borealis you know it, it's after a certain period but um yeah i can't remember what the date is but i think it's the late 50s oh these are really cool too they are um they're kind of a Okay, it's all one piece. I thought it was two piece because the stone in the middle, I know it doesn't look like it on camera, but this the part in the middle it looks more silver and the rest of it is more of a antique kind of gold or I mean um silver or gunmetal, but these are really cute clip-ons. I am definitely going to have to do a lot of clip-ons. Some of these I will keep because I'll wear them, but um I will definitely be giving these some of these as free gifts. Oh, these are cool. I know big earrings are really in right now, so I'm going to probably list these. And these look like um, these look like brass. And let's see if the metal sticks. Yeah, these look like brass and copper almost i think the bottom half is copper and they did some kind of process to it to make it that mottled look but i think these are brass and copper yeah it's not sticking these are cool i will be listing those because i think those will do well on the posh These are nice. This is um, uh, I don't can't think of what you would call this shape of bead, but this is pearls that has a nice um, toggle and no discoloration. This looks like 
premier design maybe let me see hold on it does have a tag on it and nope not premier does wait a minute no this is not premier design i've seen this before but i don't know what it is wait a minute there's something on the back Oh, Anne Klein. I was going to say it almost looks like a, a lion. These are Anne Klein, so that's very nice. Um, those are really cool. These would look really good also with some crystal beads or something, too. So this I probably will list, too. I'll probably pair it with some glass or crystal beads. Um, but that's nice, and it's sort of an ivory color, and they're graduated um, from a smaller to a larger they're pretty pretty good size and they are well made they do not have any kind of chipping or peeling they feel like acrylic but these are nice Honetta you really outdid yourself on this bag and here is this is lobster claw these are these have got some really cool mother of pearl beads and some kind of stone. Yeah, I thought those were, I think these round ones are acrylic, but these are some kind of, these are some kind of stone of some kind. They almost look like amber, actually. Let me take a close look because it kind of, well, they're kind of orange for amber, but you know what? These are amber yep these are amber beads they have um yep got insect and plant inclusions in them but those are amber it's mother of pearl amber and i'm not sure what that is i think those might be acrylic but yes those are amber i don't know whether you knew that or not well i'm sure you did know that um but yeah nice very nice and then the, of course, little puka shells on there. Very nice, though. That I could probably list, too. I've just sold a couple of amber necklaces I sold. And both of those I got from a jar. But I just sold an amber necklace and bracelet as a set. These are cool. Oop. These are really cool. They're, um, they feel like glass. They're not um, acrylic. They do feel like glass. Yeah, I'll check them out better later, but they feel like glass, and they're too heavy to be acrylic. If they're acrylic, they're very well made. Ah, got it backwards. Yeah, these are, these are glass. These are not acrylic, but those are really nice clip-ons. <sighs> She gets some fabulous jars. She really does. These are cute, too. These are um, pierced earrings. Post, I mean. And these also feel like glass, too. Yeah, these are glass. Um, these are really cute, though. These are adorable. They're kind of a... Um, I don't want to say cognac. They're a little lighter than that. Uh, almost a tea color. These are cute, though. These are really cute. These would be cute with jeans and a tee or um, a little more dressy. Here's the other one of those. Um, these are cute. These are... These have almost a... Um, the marquee stone there is almost a really, really pale citrine color. So it really sets off the rest of the stones there. And I like the shape of these. These are, I think these are not quite as old as the other ones that she sent me. Um, but they are still well constructed in their screw backs. But these are really cute. I'm glad she sent me all this rhinestone stuff because I really do like the rhinestone. 
And here, oh, this is really cute. You know what? I think I might have seen her get this one. This is adorable. This is going to be really cute. I think I'm going to put this one in the purse for my 200 subscriber giveaway. I think I will definitely put this in there. I think um, this is just adorable. It has a little dress. Well, let's see. It has a little diamond ring. There's no stones missing. Um, a little purse with the pink rhinestone. A little cell phone. Cell phone with pink rhinestones. A martini, I guess. Martini with um, little rhinestones. And a pair of sunglasses. Those are cute. Those are adorable. See the little kind of a gold color stones across the top. A little shoe. And a dress. That is adorable. And it's in really good shape. And it has a little crystal bead on the end. It's in really good condition. And as far as my 200 subscriber giveaway, um, I the way I'm going to do that, as you all know, oh, and this is a, I thought it was the same pair, but there's another pair of these in black. Well, very similar in black. These are also clip-ons. And these are prong set. Now these I feel like acrylic. They're not as heavy as the other ones, but they're still um, they're still well made, and these are cute. These would look really cute with my shirt I'm wearing right now. Those are adorable, and the other one of those, and this. Oh, there's the other one of those abalone earrings from earlier. This is cute, and this does have a tag, too. Um, this is the faux pearl and um, plastic or acrylic beads. It's cute, though, and it actually has a tag, too. So let's see this. This is... Nineteen twenty-eight. So that's two 1928 necklaces she put in there. Very nice. Okay, and another pair of rhinestone earrings. These are posts this time. And these are made a little differently than the usual way they make rhinestone earrings. These are adorable, though. They also have, these appear to be, let me see if they're prong set. No, they're not prong set. They look prong set. And then they have a little row of, they have the, the round stone in the middle. Then they have a little row of what looks like, um, like a baby blue pearl almost, or maybe a cat's eye bead. But those are cute. They're a very pale, pretty blue. They're not um, like a baby blue, but they are a really, they don't really show up. They look darker on the screen. They're more like the light aquamarine color. They look in a little darker on screen than they actually are, but they're a beautiful color. And a bracelet, and this looks like, um, let me see. It looks small, and it is freshwater pearls, and coral. It's little pieces of coral and freshwater pearls. It has a barrel clasp and it, yeah, this one um, fits me because I have a, a pretty small wimpy wrist. Uh, so it looks like maybe a six and three quarters, seven, but this one would actually work for a young girl too. It's small enough just depends on how much play you like in your bracelets. This looks like a man's ring. It's very large. Um, let's see what size it is. It's a, yeah, this is a 12 and 3 quarters, almost a 13. It is, I can tell by looking at it, that it is 925. Let's see what it says. And it looks like um, onyx inlay. 
yeah, it says sterling um, inside, and it has a it has a stamp too. I can't read it right now, but it is sterling, and this is nice. I I like getting men's stuff because I have not got very much men's stuff listed, but this is nice. My husband might actually like this. I think he wears a 13, so and he likes very subdued jewelry like this, so I'll see if he likes that. Okay, and a shell necklace. It has a barrel clasp. This is um, puka shells and then pieces of shells, and it has like little flower star beads in between, but this is cute. This, my little niece Crystal will love this. She likes shell necklaces and puka shells, so I will probably give that one to my little niece. She'll love it. Okay, and then let's see, we're almost there. Okay, this is, oh, these are cute. Okay, these articulate. They're, um, they're, they're well made. They're well made, and they articulate all three pieces smooth. And they're not so super heavy that you can't wear them, you know, for more than a few minutes. These are cute. I like these. And then the last piece is in a bag, so, you know, good things come in bags. Let's see what it is. I'm at 26 minutes, so um, looks like we might have time to do my boxy charm real quick. Okay, this is more than one necklace. Oh, this is really pretty. Chain link. This is a really pretty link. I like these chains because I almost always will um, pair my necklaces. I'll wear something big and chunky and then I'll add like something like this to it. So this is something I will wear. And let's see, it has another necklace in the bag. Oh, love this. Yes, this is so me. There are two of these here. So I would probably wear all of these together. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I would definitely wear all these together. I'm glad she put them all in there. But this is cute. I would pair all three of these necklaces together. So... Anita, you just outdid yourself with this bag. Like I said, if you're thinking about purchasing something from her and haven't yet, do not hesitate because the quality is always there. She will not let you down, and it is worth every penny and then some. She's very generous with um, everything. Her prices are always amazing, and she does do those um, $13 lots. And I've purchased those from her before, too. And those are always really good, too. So go see her and purchase. So we'll do my boxy charm real quick. And I know how many of you enjoy makeup, too, but I do. I've been getting this boxy charm for over a year now. And I love it because I wear, because I'm pale, as you can see, I wear a lot of neutral colors. And when I first ordered this, I, uh, I thought about ordering it to do unboxing videos on it because I wanted to see um, how many of the products in here actually worked for an older woman like me because most of the people I saw getting these and doing unboxings are like beautiful young girls. They're not women my age and... So I have not been disappointed, though. They always come with five or six full-size um, items in here, and they're always, like, top brands, things like Luxie. And, you know, they're always really good. Smashbox, Luxie, you name it, they, they have in here. And I have not been disappointed. So they always come with this card in them that tells you what the theme is. And the theme on this one... No, I don't see a theme on this one. Usually there's a theme. Wait a minute, maybe there's another card in here. Usually there's a theme, though, and it tells you what the theme of the box is, and I don't see that card. But the card always has a 
percentage off of the products and usually a um, coupon code that you can put in if you decide to repurchase the item but there has been very few items in here that I have given away or couldn't use and I've gotten some great brushes in in here so if and they're not that expensive and usually there's anywhere from like a hundred and twenty to two hundred dollars worth of products in here every month and it comes near the first of every month and it is depending on how long you subscribe whether you do a, a month to month or you do a um, year or six month it's approximately I think it's around 20 I do usually do a six month or a year and it's just a little over twenty dollars per box so it's a really good deal also um, you can sell makeup on Poshmark if it hasn't been used so even if you get it just to resell the products on Poshmark or something you could make some money off of it because they're always high quality and always a full-size product so we've got and these I don't recognize this brand but it's an infuge age defying nail treatment uh, let's see what color it is and I do acrylic so this is something that I may I've never listed anything from my boxy charm but I do um, acrylic so this is something I probably wouldn't use so this is something I might list um yeah i guess it's a it looks kind of thin to be a top coat but well maybe it is just okay so this is just a cuticle oil so this i would use i thought it was a polish but it's a cuticle oil so that i will use and i do wear believe it or not i do wear makeup i don't wear it to work because i'm a nurse and um because of you know issues with bacteria and stuff like that in your makeup I don't wear it to work but these are eyelashes and I do use eyelashes these are pretty good they're um, house house of lat they're from house of lashes and I have gotten these before usually that card too will tell you how much each product oh you know what maybe that's why this holds out this time okay there's what I was looking for so life of the party was the theme this month and usually this card will tell you how much each product cost the house of lashes they um, the retail price is nine to twelve dollars and uh, the uh, cuticle oil sells for 18 and it looks like we got six products this time and then we have bang beauty and this is let's this is a good brand too and it's always this is probably oh nope i do have a makeup palette there's always a really nice makeup palette and they put like 60 70 dollar makeup palettes in here this is a chocolate gel eyeliner and it's brown which is good because that's what I use I don't use black eyeliner and those are probably some of the few things that I do give away from these boxes is the black eyeliner my daughter and my granddaughter my granddaughter's a makeup artist and she is a beauty she gets the box too and so anything that I don't use in it I will usually give to her and like I said, this is Bang Beauty brand, which is a good brand. This sells for $22. Let's see what the total is for the box. Uh, I don't see it. A lot of times it has the total on there for the whole box. And then Smashbox, which if you are into makeup, Smashbox is a pretty good brand. And it is Be Legendary Triple Tone Lipstick and oh that's cool it's three colors it's a plum shades of pink and plum that's kind of cool i usually mix uh lipsticks anyway to get the color that i really like um but that's nice and smashbox comes with the 20 percent off smashbox coupon and you can if you want to order from there go in and do boxy 20 that's the code to get 20% um, off and then on the Laura Lee it's 
L L L A C H A R M 25 to get the code. If you want to use those codes, just let me know and I will post those codes on the bottom. But um, this sells for uh, the Laura Lee of Los Angeles, Party Animal Aisha. Oh, no, that's the palette. Uh, so, oh, Smashbox. That's what I was looking for. This sells for $21 to $24 on this lipstick, and I paid less than that for the whole box. So if you have not yet subscribed and you wear makeup, definitely this is a good one. I wish I had um, started showing you these sooner because it's probably one of the best makeup boxes out there. Um, this is Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. These are mask for the eyes and it's a brand called wonder beauty these sell for i don't recognize this brand this is a new product for me these sell for 13 dollars these are gold foil under eye mask and they hydrate and reduce the appearance of dark circles um, it has hyaluronic acid and diminishes the appearance of wrinkles they are $13 for, I guess the three pack is $13, but that's a good deal too. I'm definitely going to be trying those. Lord knows I have bags. And then always my favorite, you would not believe some of the palettes that come in this. This is a Laura Lee, um, and this is the Party Animal. And Smashbox actually is starting to make some of their own products and stuff now. This is... One of their less expensive palettes. This one sells for $19. Um, let's see what we got in here. Oh, these are the wild colors. Now, this is probably something I would not use these colors either. Most of the time, the palettes I get, I would use the colors. But these, I think, are for a much younger woman. I think I'm a little too old to be trying these colors at this point in my life. But... Um, these are nice, so this may be something that um, I might include in the purse or um, list. So, I when when I do that drawing, um, I am going to announce when I hit 200 on a video, and then everybody who comments on that video that I make the announcement. Um, will be entered to win and then I'll do the random um, drawing from there from the people who comment but you have to comment to win it's the only way I know because I don't know who all of my subscribers are so you know I can't put you all in a hat and draw you out so to do it you know fair and randomly if you leave a comment then you will be um, eligible to win my 200 subscriber giveaway and I will ask the winner, you know, what they're interested in. And if they do like makeup, um, you know, this, this will probably be included in my purse. But if, you know, it's not something you think you would wear, then I won't include it. But, um, yes. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. That is it for tonight. I think I've got everything. Please comment and um, like, subscribe. And if you have not hit that bell button to get a notification uh, when I put up a video, please do that now. And like I said, if, um, if you are interested in my subscriber giveaway, I will tell you, hey, this is the video. I've hit 200. Go ahead and leave a comment. Thank you, everybody. And I will see you on the next go-round. Have a good evening. Bye.